Good evening, good afternoon, good morning to everyone and welcome to Staley Bridge Fire Station. Uh, today we are going to be giving you a quick tour of the station and just a brief look into what we do here at Jim FRS as uh, we've well, been repeatedly asked to stream a shift. Um, this isn't a whole shift stream, that could be something we could plan to do in the future, but uh, this is just a quick tour of Staley Bridge. Um, Staley Bridge is home to one pumping appliance, one wildfire unit and for role play purposes a high volume pump which you will see in a minute. Uh, it is also due to get a new off-roading Hagland, uh, it was called a beaver tail, which is basically a flatbed truck, and we do have a Polaris here, but we are getting a new one as well, so you'll see the Polaris in a second, but um, yeah, without further ado, come on through. This is my car, by the way, it's very nice. It's got blue lights and sirens, and it goes to fires, big fires. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to come through the door here, this is, our, this is the doorbell. This is what you ring for attention. If you ring that, and then that's just to signify what door you're at, so uh, we don't go to the wrong door because that wouldn't be great. Um, as you first come through, this is the uh, watch office on the left where you can sign in, uh, and the crews will do their day to day general admin work in there. Um, so yeah, it's not really an interesting office as such. Um, as you come through here, uh, come on, Michael, keep up. This is the uh, this is the console. This is where we receive all our emergency calls. Um, so when we get an incident, the lights will come on, the bells will go, and then the printer will print out the kind of incident that we have. Um, yeah, I'll drop the bells for you. Uh, so in a real life incident that would on that tip sheet it would show you what incident it is which there's nothing on there as of now because we haven't had one this shift um, and at the end of the tunnel it would also read out the call sign of the appliance that's going um, so as this is Staley Bridge our first pump is Golf 40 Papa 1 so at the end of that at the end of that tunnel there you'd have heard Golf 40 Papa 1 uh, say if it was any other station, so the other station in game at the moment is Ashton, which is Golf 39, you'd hear Golf 39 Papa 1, or if it was the TIU, you'd hear Golf 39 Romeo 2, Golf 39 Romeo 4. Uh, I'm sure you'll see Ashton at some point on a later date. Um, this is our pre alert map. Um, we don't tend to get pre alerts anymore, to be quite honest with you, but uh, this was basically a pre alert is where if you phone 999, the three stations nearest to the caller would get pre-alerted about a potential incident they might mobilize to. Um, so the crews would kit up and stand by the appliance or even sit in the appliance. You'd have one or two stood by the console waiting uh, and then the rest would be in the appliance and ready to go. So then if you do get mobilized that incident after three minutes, uh, you're already ready to go and it saves time basically. Uh, but we've recently had pre-alerts taken away so we don't get them that often, but uh, that is the pre-alert map. Um, as we come through into the appliance bay, uh, this is our first pump. Uh, is an 11 plate. Um, yeah, there's uh, not, nothing too special about this. It isn't one of the uh, newer ones. If we've obviously this one's 10 years old this year, so uh, it's getting on a bit. Um, yeah, I'll just open the lock as well. Uh, so in this locker, this is the RTC locker. So as you can see, we've got our hydraulic spreaders and cutters in there. Uh, hydraulic ram is also in there as well as the toolbox and the ram. Um, yeah, I would go, I'll, I'm sure we'll do another video in the future on uh, going into detail about what's actually in the lockers. Um, this locker has our breaking in kit in. So it's our, uh, an axe, a hooli tool, which is a halligan bar. Uh, we've also got a beater in there, uh, some salvage sheets, uh, a few other bits and bobs. Uh, didn't mean to knock into it, silly me. Um, here we've got our, hydro, our, our high pressure lance, uh, our co co Cobra Cold Cut lance, which is basically, it's like a jet wash, but it will go through brick walls. So um, I wouldn't recommend using it on your car, if I'm like brutally honest with you. Uh, basically what we do is we mix little iron filings into the water and the pump will pump it round into a really high pressure, it's like, literally like a laser really, a laser of water that will go through glass, it'll go through wind, it'll go through most things. Um, it is intended for use at building fires so if we walked up to a house fire and the house was well alight um if it's too dangerous to send crews in initially and there's no one inside then we can put that up to the wall uh and that'll basically go through the brickwork and it, it's supposed to be used so the water that goes in will cool the room down so it's a bit more safe to send the crews inside but it doesn't get used too much if i'm brutally honest with you uh then at the bottom we've just got our standard hose reel which is just like your garden hose just uh, a bit more high pressured um if we go into the back here 
Uh, as you can see on top, we've got a 9 meter ladder, a 13.5 meter ladder, and a short extension ladder. So that's going from the left. Um, so the, the we they have we usually use the probably say we use the 9 meter more than anything. We don't get much use out of the 13.5. Uh, we use it quite a bit in drill, and then the short extension is just used for little things here and there. Um, in the back here, this is our pump. Uh, this is where we pump our water from. As you can see, we've got four deliveries there. Um, and then at the bottom there's our intakes. Uh, and then the thing in the middle, I, keep, I always forget the name of that. That's what our uh, hard suction goes into. So we can pump from rivers and lakes or whatever from uh, unscrewing the middle one there um, and pumping into there. And that basically takes a high amount of water in and then pressurizes it back out in out of the deliveries or wherever, whatever it is you're delivering to, basically. Um, if we go on this side. Uh, at the back here, we've got all our lengths of hose. We've got different di different lengths. We've got 75 mil, 35 mil. Um, these are usually used on more bigger incidents or for any incidents where we need water relay, which is basically where we'll connect a load of lengths of hose together to relay down to the point of water to pump back up to the uh, to the actual pump itself. It's safe. There's no hydrant close to the pump. Uh, then we'll use them for water relay, or obviously running hose out on actual instance. Uh, in the middle, that's our stamp pipe uh, with our key and bar. That's what goes into the hydrants to pump out the water. I'm sure you've seen it. Uh, if you're interested in the fire service, I'm sure you know what a hydrant is. Um, at the bottom there, that is just a second hose reel, um, just the same as the other side. Uh, in this middle locker here, this is where we've got all our rope rescue equipment and our dry suits uh, and our chemical suits as well. Uh, well, CPS suits is the actual name for it. Um, so that's all in there. We've got some more salvage sheets in there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's not a very, very interesting locker. Uh, finally, in this locker, uh, we've got our PPV, our positive, pre pre uh, positive pressure ventilation fan. Uh, this is basically, if we turn out to a house fire uh, on arrival, the house is obviously going to be very smoky. Um, and we'll just use that to basically extract all the smoke out from the building. Uh, on the bottom right there, we've just got some additional lengths. Uh, the, the, it, does, it didn't specifically signify anything, meaning that the blue uh they can be used we tend to use the blue ones on wildfires that like they can get used there um foam as well foam foam can be used on either red or blue lengths but that yeah there's nothing to specifically signify what the blue means um in the middle tray there we've just got some gloves uh or salvage sheets more stuff like that uh and then on the top we've got a bucket and spade and brush and yeah um coming to the back of the cab uh, if you look through there, um, we've got three breathing apparatus sets, which I will get someone to demonstrate in a minute what they look like. Um, and then in on the right there on the shelves, we've just got some more gloves, uh, a few bags and just other stuff. Um, you'll see one of the, you see BA2's helmet there. And if you look down on the floor just behind you, you'll see their leggings ready to turn out. So if we got a shout now, they'd come in, put the feet in these, pull them up, and then uh, you'd see the station shoes being left there, just like that. Um, this is obviously the driver's seat. Uh, I'll put the blues on for you. Uh, so yeah, this, side, this is obviously the, the command point from the vehicle. Uh, that's how we uh, drive around and get to instance. Uh, and then on the other side is where our officer in charge sits. Uh, you'll be able to see through there, that's our MDT system. It's got mobile data terminal. Uh, that's where we can look at all there's all sorts we can see on there. We've got maps on there to get us to the incidents. Uh, you could this way you book your status from as well. Uh, you can see the SSRI results from buildings, which basically means if you get to any buildings and you want to specifically look at if there's any hazardous areas or whatever in the building that you need to see, uh, then that will tell you. You can also search up any make of any car. So if we turned out to a car fire and say we wanted to know where the battery is for the car, so we could cut the battery to stop it reigniting. Uh, we'd have a look on there then to basically find out where the battery is and you can find out where all sorts of things are in the car from there. Um, what I'll do now is I'll get one of our other firefighters to come through um, and demonstrate what uh, the turnout kit looks like for different scenarios. Um, so let me just uh, turn on him one second. Just break it to the console. Yeah, we don't usually do that professionally. It's usually break, we will get your ass into the base, but we won't go any further than that. There he is. Here's Bright Wheel. This is Josh. It's very odd. So hello, Josh. Hello to the people. Yes, this is Josh. So uh, Josh is riding ours BA2 today, which means he will sit behind the driver. Uh, Josh, can you demonstrate to us? Well, if you just put your overalls on first. Um, 
So don't worry about going picking them up. It doesn't matter. Just just stick them on. Um, so these are your overalls. These obviously protect your legs. Um, we've got knee pads, pockets, boots. Still talk about boots. It's nothing too special. Um, the materials are fire retardant material, um, which doesn't mean that you can walk into fire and you won't set on fire, but it, it will withhold to a certain heat. Uh, could you put your undercoat on, please? Uh, so this is his undercoat. Uh, this is basically what he'll use if he's going out to any kind of road traffic collisions or any incident that doesn't involve breathing apparatus. Uh, this is not a fire retardant um, material. It's more of a soft shell kind of thing. Um, this is what we keep. Well, instead of constantly wearing a really thick tunic, even if you're out in a heat or an RTC, uh, you don't want to be wearing majorly thick clothing. Uh, so as you can see, this has got more reflective on uh, than his leggings. Um, can you put your overcoat on, please. So that is his overcoat. That is basically what he will wear if he's going into any kind of fire or if he's wearing breathing apparatus. That is the uh, jacket he'll wear over the top of the undercoat. Um, obviously, the two jackets together provides a extra level of protection to the uh, to his skin. Uh, the material there matches the same material as his leggings, so it's quite fire retardant that as well, and it will, will it will withhold up to a, a certain heat. Um, if you can put your helmet and BA on as well, please, Josh. So that is his BA or breathing apparatus, or if you're from America, SCBA, um, self-contained breathing apparatus, which is basically so if he was going into a smoky environment or a, we tend to use these on hazmat incidents as well uh, as any chemical incidents where it's dangerous to breathe in the surrounding air. Uh, that is what he will use to protect himself, basically. Um, he's got a 300 bar cylinder on his back, which it, it varies how long it lasts. It depends how hard you work. If you're just sat around, it can last you up to 40 minutes or so. Whereas if you're constantly working, you may only get 15, 20 minutes out of it. Um, obviously, it all depends on how fast and how heavy you're breathing. Um, but yeah, we tend to get quite a bit of use out the uh, breathing apparatus sets. Um, but yeah, that's 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 the that's a short run into our PPA. Um, thank you for that, Josh. Um, if you come around here, I'll show you the uh, wildfire unit. Let me just turn the blues off in this pump. Right. Um, so this is our wildfire unit van. This is a Mercedes Sprinter. Uh, this is basically what will take up to any molen fires, wildfires, whatever you want, like whatever way you want to look at it. Uh, this carries a lot of obviously our, our molen firefighting equipment, so it'll carry. Uh, in, in in short terms, it carries leaf blowers and grass beaters. Um, the this is only going to be with us for a few more days as we get we're due to get busy. What's called a Hagland, which is like an off-roading tank, basically. Um, so I'm sure you'll see that in some future videos, uh, but that will that will replace this van, so this van will no longer be here. Or it might be here, just not going to be on the run as our primary uh, Mullen Fire Wildfire vehicle. Uh, but this is basically just a, more of an equipment carrier because it's, it's, as much as it's a Mercedes Sprinter, it's not going to be climbing Mullins like the Hagland will. So um, I'm sure you'll see more of that. Um, to our left, that is our prime mover. Uh, so that will that can pick up different pods, so different modules, different pods. Uh, there's various different pods and modules we've got all across the brigade. We've got a wooden timber one, which is based out of Farmworth, which basically carries wood sheet in, timber sheet in, and could be taken to any kind of instance where we might have any collapses or anything like that, or buildings that need basically securing to make sure they don't fall down in, in, in easy terms. Um, we've got an environmental protection pod, which basically carries all, say if we have some, any kind of chemical spill, um, that carries all the like absorbent stuff that'll can that'll contain all that and any hazardous materials. Uh, we've got the high volume pump, which is I'm, I'm sure you've seen on some past videos. It's basically just a big pump that sits on the floor next to some open water, and it'll pump at very high speeds and it'll send water from that from the open water that will then go that will get sucked into the HVP and then it will get pumped out to wherever it'll get pumped out to other pumps, the hydraulic platforms, anything that you want to connect it to. Um, but that basically provides us a strong and heavy amount of water. Uh, it doesn't send, doesn't see many fire grounds. It's not really required in the uh, city area that we are in, but it does get out every now and again. Uh, oh, I seem to be climbing up the doors. Um, if you come to the back of here, you'll see the Polaris. Uh, this is basically a, what you, a dune buggy, a buggy that'll go off road. Um, like I said, we are getting due to get a new one of these quite soon, so this one won't be on uh, Oatman Station as much anymore. But uh, 
we said we've, we've used this on a few Molen fires up to now. It's quite practical for getting over the moor and traveling some distance instead of walking. Um, it's obviously got the little flatbed bit in the back, which will carry some of our equipment. So it can, it can carry lengths of hose, water bottles, stuff like that. So it was carrying it all up and around. So it's quite practical, really, for fighting Molen fires. Um, but yeah, that's our fleet here at Staley Bridge. Um, obviously, it's, it's due to be updated quite soon, so I'm sure you'll uh, you'll see some more of it. Um, we will do another, another one of these streams quite soon at Ashton. Um, but obviously today this is more focused on Staley Bridge. Um, I know a lot of people have wanted to see what it's like um, streaming from Staley Bridge. Well, streaming from any station, really. Um, but yeah, if... Uh, Bray Wiggle, are you free? Do you want to come and give a talk to the viewers? Or Oscar, either one of you. Uh, if you want to meet the rest of the crew. Actually, welcome to you. Welcome to the mess. Uh, so if you follow, want to follow me through here, I'll take you to the mess room. So this is the mess room. Uh, this is where we tend to socialize, uh, cook our meals, and yeah. So if you are, uh, let's see, see who's going to come through. Oscar, break wiggle, anyone? We're in the mess. Come and join us. So this is our watch manager, Oscar Jason. Um, Hello there, I'm Oscar Jason. That's what we just said. As you can see, he's, he's a bit cuckoo in the head sometimes. Uh, and then obviously, break wiggle, as you've, you've met. Um, but yeah, the, Oscar, if you want to give him a quick tour of the state, the rest of the station that I haven't shown them, you're more than welcome to. Uh, well, um, yeah, there's the mess room, um, it's just been described uh, just then. Uh, there's our kitchen, surely everybody knows what a kitchen is. Got coffee machines here if you want any. Um, and yeah, not really much to say about it, pretty nice. Uh, I haven't shown him any of the other station Oscar, so if you want to show him that as well, I might do that. Alright, follow me please. So we've got another sort of mess room over here. Um, we normally play um, pool matches and all here, and um, you can spectate. Um, Oh, we're, over here, we have um, the storage room, basically, where we store all of our equipment. So if any of it uh, is missing or um, we can't use it anymore, we'll just uh, get it from here and then uh, put it on the appliance uh, that it needs. Uh, here is where, um, I think it's normally where probationary firefighters go, where they get their training and all. Uh, so, I mean... It's usually the really community room, so the community can use that room. As obviously we are, we're a community fire station, um, so the community can rent out that room to use for meetings or whatever, really. Um, but yeah, that is the room that you'll be sent to if you use one of our community rooms. And then there's just the uh, crew room as well. So. I don't think there's uh, anything else. Oh, yeah, there's here. Uh, um... This is the station manager's office, if I'm correct. Uh, this is where he normally does his uh, paperwork and all, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah. yeah. That's the rest of Staley Bridge. Oh, we've got a shot. Go 39, Papa 1. Go 40, Papa 1. Building Fire Domestic, 4 Westland Street, Ashton. Smoke coming from oven. So uh, now you will get to see a preview of uh, what it is like on a shout with GMFRS Roblox.
So yeah, we're just coming past the uh, Ashton Fire Station now. Uh, they're definitely going to be here before us. Uh, we'll just be on standby for now, as they've already got crews searching the building. So as you can see, uh, the watch manager on Ashton's pump has asked our BA crews to do an exterior. So when we get to a house fire like this, we'll have a crew doing an interior search. Uh, they'll just do a, a, a nice detailed search at the house to make sure there's no fire anywhere. And then the second pump usually does the exterior search. Uh, so Ashton's BA crews just said that the interior is clear. So if we get a clear on the exterior, then uh, Staley Bridge will usually be released with the prize of the start message. Uh, and Golf 39 will give some flight safety advice and then... Uh, yeah, that'll be a stop message for this instance. So the watch manager usually, uh, yeah, there you go. So you just put the stop message in. So that's all appliances now released from incident. Uh, not every incident is uh, all hoses and in interesting stuff. Um, you tend to get quite a lot of false alarms. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, the appliance does have two tons. Very Tell you what we'll do actually before we uh, call this live stream a day, we'll take you to Ashton so you can have a quick look at Ashton, see if he's doing it in another video. Well, that was a mistake. Come back. Sorry. Skills. So we'll take you to Ash and then we'll take it to the heart base as well because the heart team leader wants to say a few words. So uh, we'll go up to the uh, heart base after this. Also, for some of you who are in the Discord, um, applications are still open. They do close on the 12th of April. So um, if you do want to join, get your application uh, in as quick as possible. So uh, this is Ashton Fire Station, this is uh, Staley Bridge's neighbouring fire station. So um, in the borough that Tame, uh, Staley Bridge is in, which is the Tameside borough, we have four fire stations. Uh, we have Hyde, which is Golf 4-2, Mozzie, which is Golf 4-1, Staley Bridge, which is Golf 4-0, and Ashton, which is Golf 3-9. Uh, so yeah, if you want to come through. Uh, I won't give you a full show of the station, I'll just show you the appliances that we've got here. This is uh, quite a unique station for what we have. So we have the usual pump, uh, which is basically the same as ours, it's just uh, a couple of years newer. Uh, this is quite a new pump into the brigade. This is a 68 plate. So this is now two and a half years old, I believe, three years. Yeah, three years this year. So um, yeah, this is, these aren't the newest pumps we've got in the brigade. The uh, newest pumps that we've got are 69 plates. Um, but yeah, this is one of the new, kind of new appliances that we've got. Uh, next to us here, we've got the uh, Rosenbauer Technical Response Unit. Um, this is quite a unique truck to us here in the brigade. Uh, this goes to more severe incidents uh, like RTCs uh, with entrapments. These carry a lot more heavy equipment than what a standard pump would. 
So uh, obviously you saw before on Staley Bridges pump that we carry the hydraulic cutters and spreaders, whereas TIU, yeah, they also carry that, but they carry a lot more, well, a lot more equipment like that, but a lot more advanced. Um, so they've got all the old cutters on there as well. Uh, they've also got a lot of Paratech strutting, which is a, uh, well, which is basically wooden sheet. So uh, this is this is kind of a this is this is a really special beer. We only got two of these in the brigade. We've got obviously one here at Ashton, then one at Lee. Um, so this turns out to more technical instance. Uh, so that won't go out to your standard, say, bin fire, house fire. Um, it'll go out to people in water, people in mud, RTCs of people trapped, um, people at height, people in, in entrapments. Um, so I've got a more technical stuff like that, i.e. the name of the center correspondence unit. Uh, this usually does have a Mercedes Sprinter, which is quite like our wildfire unit that goes along with it, but that is currently away on its service. So in replace of that, we've got uh, our USAR truck. Um, this is quite an interesting truck as well. Um, it's just you say if we, we had any building collapses, anything like that, this is the be, uh, if you come down the side, I'll show you some of the lockers. Uh, this abuse on instance like that as you can see we've got uh, quite a lot of power tech strut in um, and yeah this is just a very interesting truck in general um, yeah I'm gonna have a quick look around this ignore the, the fact that it's really bright um, but yeah so this is our USAR truck. Uh, the, in on USAR shouts this, this thing doesn't turn out very often at all um, on average, this thing probably does about three or four USAR shouts a year. Uh, so it tends to go out more when it's on in place of the uh, Sprinter. Uh, and then this next to it, this is just our second pump here. Um, if we struggle to crew the TIU, uh, then the TIU's crew can just jump crew onto a pump. So this is uh, this is an away place. So this is one of our older pumps, but it's just it's got the same layout as Stelly Bridges pump, really. Um, so yeah, it's nothing too, too interesting. Um, but yeah, if we... Uh, I want to proceed up to the heart base now, uh, and then we'll call it a day there. So yeah, this is Ashton's crew, looking very odd. We do have a radio on this pump, so we like don't usually sit in silence, but we haven't got any songs on here that won't get copyrighted, I don't think. Um, no, so I'll probably just spot. Is that side gate open? No, it's not. Uh, before we end this stream as well, we will go back to Staley Bridge and um, if there's any questions that anyone wants to ask, then we can get someone to answer for you. Uh, Harvest. Oh my god, I want that turning out very quick with these. 
So uh, this is the heart base. This is where our Manchester heart team are based out of. Um, this is only coming to operation today. This base, they, uh, they, well, they have been based out of a shed basically on a, an airfield for the past few weeks. Uh, so as you can see, it looks like they're just doing a drill at the moment. But uh, I'll get the heart team leader to come in and say a few things. So yeah, this is the uh, this is our heart team. Let me just go and uh, grab the heart team leader. Coolio, it'll be like over in a second. Good night, boys. Hello, Matty. So, uh, yeah, this is Michael, as you know. He's uh, streaming our, a bit of our shift today. Uh, oh, right, thought, right, 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 thought we'd right. drop by and uh, say hello to the art team. And if you uh, got anything to add, yeah, obviously, uh, your art team's quite a, quite a big thing on the YouTube channel. So, for, uh, so yeah, oh. this is uh, this is Matthew Taylor, our heart team leader. So, uh, hello. Are you streaming? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, um, what do you want me to say then? Just like about heart or just yeah, yeah anything, anything you want, mate. Yeah. So generally, heart heart was put in place ten years ago because um, there was a need for paramedics who could go into like the hot zone, the red zone of an incident, and there was standard paramedics couldn't really access these danger zones. So heart was put in place, and obviously, what we are, we're specialist paramedics who can like access the hot zone of an, of an incident easily, and we've got additional skills. Obviously, as you can see, we've all got our EDBA a, a, a's on. Um, extended duration breathing apparatus. Um, so we have 47 minutes inside a building. You've literally just popped in on us having a, we're doing a BA drill. Um, so sort of like a container fire, but people are inside. Um, so obviously it's how we can now treat them, treat casualties inside a fire using BAs. Um, but obviously if you look inside, I'll just open this door. We've got, you won't, so, you won't see like normal um, vans. We've got um, incident response units, support units now. Um, our command unit Polaris and Eurocargo is currently um, it's on um, maintenance in our workshop. So we've just got Zulu 306 to Zulu 305 at the moment. Um, so these are sort of like our primary um, vehicles. This is what you'll mainly see on the um, YouTube channel. Um, so obviously feel free to have a little look around them. Um, obviously, you're welcome. The main, the big vans carry all the main kit. Um, obviously, the small vans carry some kit. Obviously, I won't go over how much kit there is because I could go on for days. There's that much kit, but um, obviously there'll be a video soon on the Heart channel about sort of what kit we carry. Um, but yeah, that's sort of what Heart do. Um, specialist paramedics who can access hot zone of incidents and with ease. Obviously, we carry a lot more clinical skills, a lot more rescue plans as well. We have loads of different roles inside Heart. Use our operatives and um, people who've actually come from fire service as well uh, onto the Heart team. Tech rest people as well. Um, obviously, we have loads of different people. We have hazmat advisors, specialist paramedics, team leaders, uh, normal heart paramedics. So obviously, it's a great team. Um, we ask for recruiting. Obviously, if anyone on the stream is willing to join or wanting to join, um, but yeah, that that is heart. Obviously, this is our brand new base, just um, been built. Um, so yeah, obviously, if you want to have a look around, mate, then feel free. Uh, but yeah, yeah, thanks. I'll let you carry on with your drill. Um, but yeah, much appreciated. I'm sure we'll see you yeah. on instant soon. Yeah, yeah, no worries, mate. Okay, right, mate. Catch you on, on a bit. All right, so yeah, that was the uh, the heart base for you. Um, we'll do is we'll get back to bridge now. That's the heart team lining up for you. Um, so yeah, we'll get back to bridge now. Uh, answer some questions and then uh, yeah, should do it.
uh, as you can see to our right there, that is the actual HVP, so that gets mounted to the back of the prime mover that you saw in the end bay. Uh, so if we were to get a shout for that, we'd bring the prime mover around and ba basically the big hook on the back of the prime mover will pick that up and put it on the back of the truck. Uh, and then that's how we'll take it, basically. And that's obviously how it'll look uh, off the prime mover on an instance. Um, but yeah, let's just pull the pump through and then uh, we'll answer some questions. Sword. All right, Michael Jock, come back through to the base, mate. So yeah, if anyone's got any questions, uh, don't be shy, ask away. Um, I'm sure some of us can help you with your, uh, your questions. Um, right, is the pre-alert map IRL? So this time I go off and one pops up. So no, basically, uh, the pre-alert map in real life isn't exactly the same as that. The pre-alert map in real life is a uh, more of you, if you obviously look on Google Maps, it's not like Google Earth, um, where <clears throat> excuse me, where you can see all the buildings on there. You'll just see the roads in real life. Um, but it, there is a there is a pre there is a pre alert there pre alert map in real life as well. Yeah, uh, it's your favorite truck in Dublin. We have Sky and Dennis. Which one do you like? Uh, with Dublin trucks, I, I do like the old Dennis's. Um, I much prefer Volvos over any uh, Scanners and Dennis's. To be quite honest with you. Um, but yeah, I uh, definitely like Dublin's uh, Dennis's. They are quite impressive. Uh, take a picture of what we can see. So we'll see some of the map. Um, to be fair, you, we, as as we're driving around, then that's uh, that was quite a, a good chunk of the map um, where we're driving through over the bridge. That's more this main city area, um, and then um, back up towards where Ashton was. That's more of the like some, like country area. Same round there. We're both but where both stations are. Ashton's definitely more close to the uh, actual city area than what we are here at Staley Bridge. But um yeah, this is more of a, a cut off area. Uh where do the trucks get fixed? Trucks get fixed at our um technical service centre in Lee. So uh if you've ever seen behind Lee Fire Station, uh they have a lot of garages behind there. Uh, and if you look on Google Earth you'll see a lot of fire engines back there as well. That's all the old appliances that they store there. Uh, that's where all our appliances get fixed um, if there's any issues with them. Uh, Scanners are man's. Um, Scanners, I think. Scanners are very beastie trucks and they're a, a, it's a very common fire engine uh, across the UK and quite quite other parts of the world as well. Australia, I know they have quite a lot of Scanners. Um, but yeah, Scanners is definitely one of the more popular brand of appliances across the across the world. Uh, do you think of Lancashire, Lancashire's appliances and stations? Yeah, um, I've visited Lancashire a few times. Um, I, like, I, I like, obviously, Lancashire have got the Stinger. Uh, I'm quite a fan of the Stinger. Manchester's obviously recently uh, adapted to a Scorpion, which I'm sure you've seen. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite a fan of Lancashire. Uh, we've got some nice stations there. I do want to spend some more time in Lancashire. Um, but, yeah, I'm quite happy with Lancashire, to be honest. Um, yeah, has anyone else got any questions? Uh, I'll scroll up a bit. Uh, are you making any new trucks to the fleet? Um, yeah, so due to coming quite soon, we've got uh, our off-road in Highland, which I mentioned before, and that'll replace the van here at Surly Bridge. We'll also have what's called a beaver tail, which is basically just a flatbed truck with blue lights and sirens on it, which will carry the Highland. Uh, we are also due to get a new Polaris, uh, and we'll be able to swap the Highland and the Polaris out on the back of the beaver tail, whichever one we uh, requested to turn out with. Um, we are hopefully advancing to a foam unit in the future as well. We have a foam unit based out of Sale and a foam unit based out of Farnworth. Um, well, uh, we are having a new TIU truck made. So you saw the one at Ashton before. Uh, that is being rebuilt currently. Uh, we're also due to have a new batch of pumps built quite soon. So uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll you'll see it in the near future. Uh, Favourite station in Lancashire? To be honest, I don't have... A specific favorite station um i like i do like charlie charlie's quite a nice station obviously they've got the usar team up there um so they're quite a big station um uh I've, yeah i've not got a favorite station as such i do like a lot of lancashire fire stations um so yeah uh is, does fireman not have a girlfriend no he does not thanks for the question though five photos tv it's much appreciated uh what's your most like fleet in manchester 
Uh, yeah, I've, there's quite a few stations that I like in Manchester. Ashton's one of them. So they've got the TRU and the USAR truck. Um, Bolton Central, they've got the HVP, the hose box, the aerial. Lee, they've got the TRU and the aerial. Apologies. Um, they've got the TRU and the aerial there. Um, well, yeah, there's uh, quite a few stations that I like. Um, do we have police? No, not as of yet. We are looking to advance to the police pretty soon, uh, but we haven't got one yet, no. Um... But yeah, if that's a uh, favorite station, Jeff, I don't have one to be like completely honest. With you. I don't have a specific favorite station. Um, I, there's, there is a few I could just uh, name them: Bolton Central, Lee Ashton. Uh, quite a fan of them stations. Um, but yeah, uh, favorite station that six. I haven't got one. If I'm like blatantly honest with you, um, there isn't really. I don't really tend to pay much attention to more South Brigades. Um, but yeah, well, uh, we just want to thank you all for tuning in today. Uh, it's been a pleasure to stream a bit of the shift to you guys. Um, obviously, we uh, do could do quite a bit of Civ accepting. So if you are interested in coming onto the game to have a look, then um, just join the Discord and uh, yeah, uh, go from there. Really, uh, applications are still open for the Fire Service and the Heart Team. Um, so yeah, uh, what stations have been built? We've got uh, quite a few being built at the moment. Uh, Withenshaw's being built. Uh, Wigan's being built. Uh, what else? Uh, we have started on Bolton North, so that could be a potential in the future. Um, well, yeah, the Discord link should be in the description of this video. If it's not, then uh, looking if you go onto the actual YouTube itself and go into the About section, it should give you the uh, Discord link there. Uh, do we have Echoes in game? No, we don't have Echoes in game. Uh, it is a potential for the future, but uh, considering they only have the boat unit and a pump, it's not something that stands out majorly for me. Um, but yeah yeah so uh thank you for all tuning in if this is something you'd want to see a bit more in the future then we could potentially look at streaming a full shift uh obviously our shifts last between an hour and a half and two hours uh so if you'd be interested in a full shift stream in the future uh then we'd definitely be up for doing something like that or any ideas that you want to see then let us know uh but yeah other than that uh this has been Stanley Bridge Fire Station signing off have a good day everyone